All right, what's going on guys? It's Rift and welcome to my 2021 Fortnite setup tour. Well guys, here we are. This is my setup tour. And you guys can already see my face is completely purple right now. I have a ton of lighting in this room. There's actually a lot going on, so we're about to get into that. I know you guys have been asking for this tour for so long, so please just make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe with nobody's on. It really helps me out a lot. This room, let me just say, has been a work in progress for such a long time. I'm gonna be going over everything in this room from start to finish. Everything that I show in this video will be listed in the description down below. If you guys are interested in anything that I have and wanna add onto your setup make sure to check it out but yeah let's get right into it so as you guys can see already this is a pretty huge room and there's a lot of space to do a lot of cool things in here this is one side of the room my desk and everything else on it and then the other side tv and some other really insane stuff we're about to get into that all right i'm gonna get straight into the coolest thing by far in this room and it is right behind me let's see if we can get a better look you see it now Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let me flip this camera around real quick. Look at this bad boy. That's right, we got a custom Rift LED sign. I know you guys have seen this in the background of a lot of my videos recently, and I never actually mentioned it, so I wanted to wait until the setup tour to mention this. But yeah, this is honestly super sick. It's honestly really cheap off Amazon. Got it for a really good deal, I'm not even gonna lie. And then if you just look on the other side of the wall, I have some nano leaves from top to bottom. I really like the design I made with this. But I do have a whole nother set. I probably have more than double of the nano leaves I have up right now. So I'm thinking about where else I can add it, but let me show you guys the rest of the room. One thing I have that's pretty cool is that there's LED lights going across the top of the ceiling. I think it looks really good. And then in the middle of this wall, this is actually the back wall from where my desk is. My desk is over here. My wall is over there. And you guys can see this TV, it's a 4K 50 inch TV. This thing is actually a beast. I get to watch movies, shows, sports games, anything that's on that I enjoy watching. I watch it on here. It's super nice when I'm taking a break from playing playing Fortnite or anything on my computer, I can just take a nice break, watch a nice movie on the TV. And then right below the TV, I gotta show you guys this. This is an IRL Rift to go from Fortnite. Take a look at this. This is literally me. I mean, it's me in real life. It's, it's a beauty. And not only that, boom, we can hop in the Rift to go IRL. Here, I'm about to take a Rift to my setup. Ready? Boom. Look at that, we are at our setup. And there's a lot going on here, honestly. Okay, first, I gotta go over this PC. Can this thing, sh can this thing shut up? Take a look at this PC. This thing is an absolute beast. Just to go over the main parts of it, it has a 2080 Ti. The CPU has an i9 10900K CPU, 32 gigs of RAM. And honestly, that's pretty much all I know. All of the specs of this PC will be in the description, but just look at how beautiful it is. All purple, all lit up. This thing right here, I can actually put any custom image on right now. You guys wanna see a picture of me on my PC? Well, boom, boom, there's a picture of me on my PC. But yeah, this honestly is just super dope. I also got a custom custom built for me, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I've had it for a couple months now, you know, since my other PC blew up. I had to get a new one, and this one, it's just a beast. I know I've shown this PC off in the past, but I just wanna show it to you guys again, because honestly, it's just super dope, and it's also in a new location. I have it up on some wheels. I honestly don't know why, I just kinda like it, and I think it's good for like the airflow on the bottom. And then right next to that, I have my router. You guys already know, I gotta have my own personal router, right? The edit's gotta be top tier speed. If I'm recording and streaming, I need the best internet I possibly can to be able to edit as fast as I usually do. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little bit of a problem. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that it's okay let's just move on from that let's move on to the main part of my setup first i have not one not two but three 240 hertz monitors i think these things were like 300 something each so a thousand for these three monitors combined but honestly it's a really good deal for three 240 hertz monitors because usually they're really expensive i wouldn't really say i have a budget setup because it's obviously worth more than ten thousand dollars but for the price that i got for a lot of things in my setup it's honestly on the cheaper side compared to some really really nice setups and if you guys want to know the exact exact monitors that I have, I'll leave a link in the description once again. Something really important that a lot of you guys want to know, yes, I use an Apex Pro TKL keyboard. You know, a lot of people wonder why I don't use the Ducky 1 2 Mini or any other keyboard like that. The reason why I use this keyboard is because statistically, it actually has the best actuation point, which means I only have to push down just a little bit and it activates. So I barely, I can like breathe on this key and it activates. 
Damn, what those fingers do. Daddy, chill. And then my mouse is a Logitech G Pro Wireless. I'm a really big fan of this mouse. It's on the lighter side. It's super comfortable to use. Definitely would recommend that. And then my mouse pad, it's gotta be long, obviously. I'm a really fast player, so I need a lot of room to be able to operate. Pretty big mouse pad from HyperX. And then my headset here is a HyperX headset as well. I've always gone with these. They're super affordable and just honestly really good. And then my mic over here is a Blue Yeti. I have it on a stand or an arm, whatever you wanna call it. So I can just push this thing out whenever I'm recording, it goes out in front of me. And then when I'm editing a video or just chilling, I can just push it to the side. And a lot of you guys have probably been wondering, what is this light behind my PC? Well, this is actually what I use to make my lighting look so much better. Without this, it makes my camera quality on my PC look so much worse. And honestly, if you guys are thinking about doing hand cam or face cam videos, this is definitely what you need. It was only $100. I put it behind my PC so it shines directly on my face. Definitely was well worth. You guys need this if you're thinking about doing face cam. And speaking about face cam, here it is right here. I use a Logitech Brio. If I'm going to talk about upgrades real quick, things that I'm thinking about upgrading, this Blue Yeti right here, I'm thinking about upgrading to a much more expensive and nicer mic, better quality all around. And not only that, I'm looking into getting an actual camera, not just a webcam. But honestly, I mean, everything here in my setup, it gets the job done. So I'm not really too stressed about it. And here is my baby. 1 million plaque and right beside that, 100K plaque. It's over just to the right side of my desk. Honestly, I think it looks really nice in that spot because right right below it, I have a mini fridge filled with a bunch of different drinks. I'm not too sure why I have this picture here, but it's there, I guess. I don't know. I think that's honestly one of my favorite things about my setup is I have my own mini fridge. That's been one of my dreams as a kid, honestly, just to have my own mini fridge in my room. That's just crazy. Let me stand on this side of the room real quick. You guys will probably get a better angle to see how my room is laid out. So my PC, my desk, everything, and then my plaques, my mini fridge. And then on the other side of the wall, you have the nano leafs, the TV, the rift sign. Honestly, I think it's a super clean setup. I mean, there's some parts that are a little bit messy, but overall, it's pretty good. Oh, and I almost forgot my chair. It's a respawn chair. This thing was like $200. Chairs definitely get a really nice chair because you're going to be sitting in this a lot. I really needed a nice chair because I sit in this thing a lot and it has to be comfortable. And then in this corner of the room, I have a dartboard up, which I honestly don't really use that much. But hey, I mean, you know what? I just left it there. I think it looks pretty cool. Over here, I have a green screen just sitting here. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to to do with it yet, but it's there if I ever need it. And then I have a bean bag there, a bean bag there, a spin the wheel, which maybe I could use for videos. Who knows? Honestly, I don't even know where I got this from. I didn't even know I had this in my room until right now, but hey, I have a spin the wheel. And that's pretty much it. It's a really nice setup. I definitely want to get it cleaned up a little bit. But honestly, this whole room has just been a massive work in progress. It's been taking months to set this thing up. But I think what's cool about my room is that just look how big this is. I mean, there's so much space. The camera is not doing this room justice. This room is ginormous. I mean, if you probably cut it like right here, like right here, that's probably like a good sized room for a gaming room. But then I just have all this extra space over here. I'm really happy with this room because the other room that I was in before, you know, it was... Eh, it just wasn't getting the job done, to be honest. I was in my bedroom. I had to move into a separate room. Now, I was going to play on the setup for this video, but you guys have already seen the background. You guys have already seen the rift sign, the nano leafs in the back, and the, the TV and everything. So, you know, I, don't, I really feel like I don't need to do that, to be honest. One thing that I'm going to ask from you guys is, do you have any advice for me to make my room look better? Because, you know, behind me is my desk and everything. But look, this wall, completely open. This wall, completely open. I mean, what can I put over there? Should I put my nano leafs up there? I don't know if it would look good that many nano leaves just across the whole room in different spots. I feel like just one designated spot for the nano leaves looks good the way they are. Like right here, I think it looks good. But let me know what other things you guys think I should put in my room. All right, guys, this has been Rift and that has been my $10,000 2021 Fortnite setup tour. Peace out.